Welcome to Marina Hills Animal Hospital. Today we're going to talk about neutering male dogs. Uh, one of the questions we have to decide is when we'll neuter the dog. Uh, traditionally, we've neutered dogs at six months of age before they go through puberty. There is an argument that says it's better to wait until they're over a year of age, particularly in breeds that have trouble as their joints develop. Uh, so certain large breed dogs definitely benefit from waiting from a health standpoint. Uh, the major health benefit is to avoid an intact male dog as an old dog because in that situation their prostate is often enlarged and they're at risk for infection. Uh, but the focus of this video, I want to talk about uh, dogs that are crypt orchid. That's a fancy word that means their testy did not arrive in their scrotum like it should. Uh, and those dogs certainly should be neutered. Uh, an additional reason why we neuter male dogs are, is behavior driven. Uh, and it turns out that dogs who go through puberty, when they have a surge of testosterone, they become more territorial and more dominant. Uh, sometimes that's no big deal if they have a pretty easy, easy personality, but sometimes the dominance can turn to aggression that can lead to real problems uh, in the family and the home. Uh, the other feature about an intact male dog and their territorialness is they like to mark their territory. Now, large dogs have a large world view. They tend to urinate on fence posts, but little dogs have a small world view and they may urinate on the space between the kitchen and the living room. Uh, and when dogs are marking in the house, no one's happy. So that's another reason why we neuter male dogs. In the case of a cryptorchid dog, they have all of the testosterone of an intact male dog, therefore all the behaviors of an intact male dog, but we wouldn't expect them to make sperm from the testes that are inside the abdomen. Uh, that's not the same as saying they could not impregnate a female, but they certainly wouldn't be your choice for a breeding dog uh, if they were cryptorchid. Not only would they not produce the numbers of sperm that are ideal, but cryptorchidism is inherited and the male dog with a cryptorchid should not be bred because he's going to pass that to his offspring. Um, but beyond that, uh, there's a major health concern when dogs have retained testes. The testy that is retained is at high risk for becoming cancerous a much higher than a testy in the normal location. And not only is it a greater risk for developing a tumor, but it would be harder to detect, obviously, if the testy was inside the abdomen where we can't see, touch, feel, or discover that it is growing a tumor. Uh, also, uh, the testy, when it's retained, there's a chance that it can turn, the term is torsion, uh, which would be a painful event when the testy loses its blood supply and dies bad day. So um, we certainly do recommend neutering dogs that are cryptorchid like we did today. Um, some dogs have one testy where it belongs and the other one's missing. The patient today had no testes. He was adopted as a stray uh, and his scrotum never developed because he never had descended testes. So at a distance you might think that he was neutered elsewhere. What gave it away is he had a big block head like a big intact male dog. So we knew to look and we found them and removed them. Thanks for joining us at Marini Hills Animal Hospital Medical Moment.